Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading for June 17th to uh, June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. Mm -hmm. And we can jump straight away into the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Scorpio's week, this is going to be the High Priestess, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Scorpio are to face throughout the week, this is going to be uh, the Knight of Wands. Afterwards, uh, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Scorpio, that will be the uh, Ten of Wands. And then the last one, uh, we are talking about guidance here, or the guidance that Tarot have for you, Scorpio. This is going to be the Ace of Cups. So once again, uh, the High Priest, this is the topic, followed by the Knight of uh, Wands, which stands for the challenges. Uh, then we do have the Ten of Wands, which is the positive, the positive aspect of the week. And the last one that we have for you guys is the Ace of Wands, which is the guidance. All right, Scorpio, so this week, I don't know how to say it, maybe uh, this is a week for um, evaluation, like you evaluating your deeds, evaluating your uh, career, for example, evaluating your relationship, evaluating yourself in general, how you stand in all that. Okay, so we do have the High Priestess as a, a topic. So does the, it does depend where really this uh, card uh, takes place at, relationship or career, because the card reads very differently if it is in regards to relationship or if it is regards to a, a career. Now, if it is about career, uh, then the card tells you that this week you are to do exactly what you're supposed to do. So you're going to attend to the planned enterprises and undertakings and uh, <clears throat> however, as you do so, a um, how can I place it? A, a like a new project or a new activity. It is a about to hit. It is a on the horizon, and that activity will allow you to uh, basically, you know, expand on your career. But this activity is not going to take place throughout this week. Now, if we're talking about relationship, it does depend: are you single or not? Okay. If you are not single, then the high priest this is a sign that a soul bond is establishing or it is established now. So we could speak for soulmates, we could speak for twin flames here. Or if you are a single, then the card points that it is unlikely that this week you are going to involve yourself with someone because as the high priestess takes place, that means that you are in a search for your soulmate or the next one is going to be something like your soulmate. I don't believe in soulmates. 
I do prefer to, to, to look at them as a, a good compatibility type of relationship, but yeah, it, it doesn't get any better than that if uh, you believe in soulmates. So yeah, it's a, it's a very situational card, but in either way, when the High Priestess takes place, one needs to follow their inner guidance, their inner voice. Just to give you an example here, um, if you, uh, for one or another reason, sense that um, you don't belong into this working place or you don't belong with this person, then that is a clear sign that you need to do the necessary, you know, to stop feeling that way, meaning that, you know, you have to detach. Or if you think that, or if you feel that you belong with this person, you belong into that place, then you have to do the necessary to stay there. The accompanied card here that is to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles, the formation, it is a, a passive friend that we have. So with the Eight of Pentacles, this um, sense, the inner guidance, the inner voice, which is, by the way, different from the intuition, um, is going to be quite amplified because throughout the week, these small things, small details are going to start popping up and it is likely that you will kind of like start obtaining that realization, you know, why one thing happens or why one thing is working out and why another thing isn't working out. So let's say that you are to obtain a, a better perception upon how your endeavors work, how your marriage works, what glues, for example, your marriage, what is gluing your career, what is gluing your relationship, and you get the choice. Uh, are you going to proceed feeding it or you are going to destroy it that is entirely up to you it does depend where that inner guidance and inner voice is going to lead you toward so uh, that leads us uh, Scorpio to the next card which is uh, the Knight of Wands and that is the challenges okay so Knight of Wands here takes place as a person and the person itself is not a challenge but what they do is a challenge or the copy cutting is a, a challenge. It's something that you should not do. So uh, to make my point more clearer across, that is someone who is rather, it seems that it is either very successful into their relationship, is very successful into their career. They do things, you know, they do, um, I cannot say bad things, but very risky things. And it seems that they get away with it, all right? So you may think that this 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 person do everything right, and uh, you may try to co to copycat them, okay, to, to do the things the same way. Now you need to know that uh, what works for them is not going to work for you. The high priestess is a very strong card, and you are on the path finding what you works what works for you, Scorpio. Who is the person for you? How to become successful into your career? The path of this person is not your path. And that's why you should not be a follower of theirs. That's why you should not try what they are trying. And the challenge itself is to resist that urge to uh, do things their way. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the um, <clears throat> Queen of Wands formation it is a active uh, supporters and it is just only one confirmation now you need to know that uh, that person gets away with what they are doing either career wise or relationship wise uh, for the fact that they uh, I can't say that they do have an experience but they do have that sense what they can get away with and what they cannot get away with so they know very well their situation, not your situation, but their personal situation. They know where their blessings are. They know how to manipulate. They know how to take advantage of and etc. etc. And that's why they get away with it. But if you throw them into a very in unfamiliar environment, like a brand new project, you know, or a, a brand new relationship, they will be as lost as probably you are as well. OK, if you are finding lost. Uh, right now in this very moment. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that just because someone else looks more successful, uh, either career-wise and either relationship-wise, it doesn't mean that you have to follow their steps. Your steps are your own steps. What I mean is that you need to engrave your own personal signature into your career, 
or into your relationship. Now, if I have to give myself for an example, I cannot, I, I'm not facing that situation right now, but who knows? I mean, the week is uh, yet sta is starting yet. But um, the, the thing that I have to, that uh, I think of is, let's say that I stumble upon a tarot reader, for example, or upon an astrologer um, in YouTube, and I kind of like, see what they are doing, I see um, how they present themselves, I see what kind of services they uh, they do and I may try to copycat them, all right, which is not going to work for me because every single one of us is unique, every single one of us has their own style and, I, and these cards are pointing that I have to keep up with my style, all right, because probably my style it is what you are listening to these, uh, to these videos. So the positive aspect of the week <clears throat> Or uh, before we go to the positive aspect, if I have to change something with my style, it's going to be based on the my personal evaluation of the situation rather than taking as an, an example someone else. Okay, so uh, the positive aspect of the week, this is going to be the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is pointing that you will have no problem whatsoever to attend to the chores and to the responsibilities you are going to have uh, throughout this week. Because God knows I have a lot. I have a lot of... Um, Q readings, I do have a lot of uh, videos to produce, I have to produce the monthlies, I have to produce the uh, the weeklies and this card falling here actually tells me that I will have no problem attending to these activities because believe it or not it is very difficult to stand in front of camera and record, it's kind of like, I, well at least for me it's, it's, it's very difficult so I, I am kind of relieved to see that card here pointing that it will be easier on me this week. The accompanied card, that is going to be the Two of Wands. So, or, you know, if we're talking about marriage, for example, it's not going to be difficult for you to uh, attend to the responsibilities into this marriage, knowing that that is exactly what is going to secure your marriage. Now, the accompanied card here, it is the Two of uh, Wands formation. It is active supporters. And Ten of Wands and Two of Wands speaks for dominance. It does speak for control. It does speak for establishing your rules over the situation through the evaluation, through the insight that you are to have upon the minor details, knowing how the things work, why they work, being able not to manipulate them, you know, but to work out with those circumstances and thus you are to establish control over your career, to establish consistency over your career as well, to establish control over your marriage and as well to give direction to those things, you know, where you're establishing control at, um, uh, to give them a, a direction for a, a future growth. And uh, so that leads us, guys, to the last card, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, and that is the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> so guidance-wise, Ace of Wands points that throughout this week you will have, um, I would say, opportunities to resolve some issues of yours, which are lingering from uh, from the past, and the card advises you to take advantage, you know, of this standstill of the situations and to attend to those um, uh, issues, problems, you know, plights, you name it, that you are maybe carrying from uh, back from the days. Additionally to that, the uh, Ace of Wands urges you, should there be a gaining for enterprise around you, to take advantage of it. And especially if that enterprise involves you expanding on your skills, on your knowledge, getting to know new people, for example, or getting to um, get involved into a project, let's say, into a career, just for a day maybe, you know, where you are to obtain a, a vital experience or very substantial experience, it is very advisable for you to do so. Now, the accompanied card of the Ace of Wands, that is going to be the Page of Swords. And uh, formation here, it is a uh, active uh, friends. So uh, these couple of cards points that there is no, uh, it's uh, there is no reason why you should turn off an, an advice or a, a guidance 
from uh, from someone that it is around you you know because the page of swords here plays a role as a unexpected help coming around and with the ace of wands that help is going to be maybe intellectual one most likely uh, intellectual one where you are to obtain advice insight from the words from this uh, page of wands you know or uh, simply guidance how to uh, how to proceed with your things moving on forward however um, that should be only help but not direction what i mean is that finally uh what you need to do or how you should proceed on forward with your endeavors career or relationship wise needs to be based on the revelations needs to be based on the insight or rather like evaluation that you're going to place upon yourself marked by the high priestess all right so uh that being said <clears throat> This was your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.